This is what I need. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? I'm just taking a look around. <laughs> just messing. Have to make my own entertainment. Gets a bit boring round here. Apart from the rotworms eating people. I'd stay on the walkway and not go too far out into the swamp. Believe me, being eaten by those creatures is not the way a man should go. Hang on. I think I've got a map somewhere you can have. Although by the looks of you, you could do with a better weapon. Where can I get a better weapon? Depends on what you're after. Some swear by a good blade. Others prefer the heft of an axe. I'm a hunter, so I favour a bow and arrow. I've got a couple of nice specimens here, actually. For the right price, I'm sure I could part with one or two. What do you hunt in the swamp? Less and less. There are only a few beasties. They may look unappetizing, but you'd be surprised what our cook can do. About the only thing left big enough to feed us all is this large worm over to the west. But he's a big fella. I really need help to take him down. Probably a bit of help to keep him down after I've eaten him too. I'm new around here. Got swept in with the tide. What can you tell me about this place? Ah, I see. Well, then there are a few things you should know. This whole swamp area, from here to the temple in the north, is run by Don Esteban, our leader. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. He's got some fighters working for him that would break your jaw as happy as look at you. What can you tell me about the temple? came up from the ground about the time these storms started. And all these beasts came out of it. Never seen the like before. Indescribable they are. Our fighters soon sorted them out. I doubt there's much still alive in there. Well, apart from the Dom. He's moved into the temple now. Don't see him very often. No one really knows what he's doing in there. Me, I say hunt, kill and don't ask too many questions. So, you haven't always been here in the swamp? No. We used to have the whole of Harbour Town until the Inquisition came. All their magic and robes and stuff. They pushed us out here. Between you and me, I think the Don's pride took a bit of a knock. He hasn't been the same since. Most folks hate this place, but I like the fresh air. New things to hunt. Always felt too cooped up in town. What are rotworms? They can't really be described. Indescribable, they are. They're like giant, rotting worms. You can ask Ricardo in the camp. What else can you tell me about the Inquisition? Same as everyone else, really. Don't get too close to them, or you'll find yourself dragged off to that monastery. They're not right in the head. I think they do something to them up there. I'm keeping well away. I advise you to do the same. So, what's your boss doing in the temple? I couldn't say for sure, but he's become very keen on collecting gold at the moment. He's got diggers working these ruins, and he always gives them a share. He's good like that. I think maybe he's planning on trying to take back Harbour Town. Gold commands a lot of power around here. Maybe even more than the Inquisition with their damn cult. Too risky. Let's trade.
How about I help you hunt this worm? Oh, that's good of you. Tell you what, if we kill that thing together, I'll give you 30 gold. I hope you're well prepared. <laughs> Don't want your death on my conscience. Come on, let's go kill this rock worm. That's the spirit? Right, ready your weapon and stay close to me. Draw your weapon! of the kill. Ah, oh, that's made my week, that has. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Hey, if you're going to the camp, can you take this raw meat with you? They always need food there. Just give it to Rachel, the cook. I'm gonna stay here, see if I can spot my next challenge. Can you teach me about hunting? To be honest, I'm not a very good teacher. I just sort of have an instinct for it. Lewis is your man. He taught me. Ask him. Lewis? Right. today? No. You expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm. Not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. What is there around here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. That's where these things are? Yeah. They're all over that excavation site in the middle of the swamp. And? They make me nervous. Why? They're... disgusting. Uh-huh. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! <laughs> so what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. Getting anything out of you is like pulling teeth. That's why I make such a good guard. All right, let's try this question. Tell me more about these things. 
The ones in the excavation site. They're disgusting. Big insect things. I wish someone would get rid of them. I can. I'd need pay. Say, 30 gold coins. 30? Yeah. It's worth that to get rid of those things. They're... disgusting. Keep my gold warm. I'll be back for it. Job done. You needn't worry about those things in the excavation site anymore. You killed them? Right. Thirty gold coins, wasn't it? Worth every one. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Right. I'll look forward to our next conversation. You must have picked up some skills to be a guard. I know how to fight. And I can handle a crossbow. Can you train me? To fire a crossbow? All right. But it will cost you. Too risky. What do you want? Man like you has clearly seen some action. Well, you know. I don't like to boast, but I've crushed a few heads. If you want to eat here, you have to work. You want a free ride? Try those white robes at the monastery. They'll give you a free ride all the way to their excavation camps. And keep your paws off other people's stuff while you're here. Or you'll lose your paws. I don't know. What do I want? You were looking at me. I'm new here. I'm just getting to know people. If you don't know I'm the best fighter in the camp, then you won't be near long enough for me to care. Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm alehouses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? Normally, yeah, but as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. So, right now, my hunters are running wild like free spirits. Or they think they are. Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsawn. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants, the leader of the fighters, a, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter. For my sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. We live by Brogar's laws, eh? Brogar's laws? 
not the Dons. The Don wants me to hunt. Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. Hey. Did I look like I wanted to talk to you? Whoa there. Someone shoot your dog? Stupid and mouthy don't wash well round here. Especially not from workers. Do I look like a worker? Maybe not. You ain't coated in shit. Now enough questions. I'm hungry. Bring me a haunch of fried meat from Rachel, the cook up by the smithy. Bit snooty, but a looker. The Don's a lucky man. Of course, with him in that temple all the time, she might need a bit of company. The men in the camp say you've never won a fair fight. What's the point of a fair fight? You stick by the rules, you get beaten, or dead, or you become a white robe. I'd rather be dead than that. I'm sure lots of people would prefer you dead than in a white robe. You know what I think? I think sarcasm is going to get you killed. While you were out cold, I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. Here's some meat. This didn't come from Rachel. So? So this smells like a rancid fucking badger. Are you trying to poison me? I said get it from her. Hey. Lost, are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Your job is to distribute wealth. Exactly. I arrange little wages, you give me your gold, and you could double it. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Ah, listen up, I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold, if you win, I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers, only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? How do I place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything here. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything. You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly. Just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death, 
is where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be all right. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in camp. I want to improve my fighting skills. Teach me sword fighting. You already know how to interrupt your opponent's attacks, right? But I'll show you another trick. If you're very close to your opponent, you can often get another hit in. That's especially worthwhile if you use these blows in your combinations. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once either man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt, that's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. Does Brogar ever fight in the arena? You looking to lose bits of yourself? Just ask him would be risking your skin. Forget it. That's my advice. Why? He's not one to mess with. Arena fighting's a game. Brogar doesn't play games. Neither do I. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. Well, you got spirit, but try someone easier. I'm ready to fight you now. Hold your horses, stallion. I'll fight you if you put some gold where your mouth is. Make it worth me while. I don't do anything for nothing. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? I'll fight Ricardo and win. Ah, well that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake. All right, then, you bastard. Ah! 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 I'm sticking to guard duty from now on. That makes me feel safe. Bastard. See why people don't stand up to Brogar? A few bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. 
Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappeared. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. But you're serious, aren't you? What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you, and listen to everything he says. It will let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. About Brogar. You might cut his wood, but I don't want to end up as Brogar's lackey. What does he want you to do? He wants a haunch of meat. Do it. Get it for him. Why should I feed him? If you want to get in with Brogar, bring him what he wants. Make him trust you, but show him you mean business. That you can be an asset to him, not another slavish camp worker. If he thinks you're clever, and that you can't be bullied, he'll take notice. Who knows about Brogar, and wouldn't mind talking to me? Talk to Lewis, one of my hunters. He knows a few things, more than you'd think. Start with him, see what he says. Brogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel, but it might be something you can hold against Brogar. You could use it to stop Brogar. If you challenged him to combat and won, that would embarrass him in front of everyone. But it wouldn't be easy. That's an understatement. Well, you started on this path. Every man chooses his destination. Where are you going? Whatever happens, I'll need to train. A man needs skills. And with the path you've chosen, you'll need more skills than most. There is no way I can beat Brogar with this useless equipment. If you're after a better blade, Oscar the Smith will sell you one. If that fails, you'll need another line of attack. Magic. Try talking to Robar, the swamp farmer. He knows about magic, and as he's outside the camp, people won't hear you buying stuff. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. All right, where can I get workers' clothing? Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. Hey, Sam. I've straightened things out with Brogar. You can go back to hunting. Helpful sort, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. But then one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note. Sometimes it's better to take sides than end up in the middle. Where do I find this Rachel? She's usually cooking, in front of the temple. About your hunting. What can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's had a skimful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. But I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. I met a hunter called Yan. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You'd better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. How can I become one of the Don's men? Huh. Firstly, I'll need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife Rachel's been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel. Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Brogar? You're learning. 
about Brogar. How does Rachel feel about him? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that even though the Don's behind her. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. Too risky. Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. Are you in charge of the workers here? Yeah. I'm supposed to oversee the workers of the excavations. The morale is so low that the men don't care anymore. Why is it so bad here? We keep losing men to the worms. And there are even worse fates too. I'd rather be anywhere else. But we have to collect anything made of gold and take it to Beppo. We didn't expect to have to fight the monsters here. We're not trained for it. And that bastard Brogar should be protecting us. But do his fighters ever come and help? Do they, hell? Too drunk, most of them. So the excavations have stopped. They won't be happy when they find out. The Don's supposed to be a fair man. But Brogar isn't. And he should be protecting us. Any of my men were good at fighting, they'd have gone long ago. They'd be living it up in the bars and brothels of Harbour Town. If I'm going to take action, I'll need better armor. I can give you workers' clothes, that's all. And you'd have to pay. After all, you're not a worker. Why should I clothe you? We're all stuck on this island, in this swamp, together. We might as well help each other. I'll see if I can get your workers back to work. You won't. If I can't, what chance does a stranger have? I can talk to Brogar for you. Don't. It'll only cause trouble. We've tried everything. Brogar's not going to listen to you. What can you tell me about Brogar? Nothing. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want trouble. You've already got trouble. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I'd rather take my chances with the worms than get Brogar angry. Brogar can't be that bad. Brogar is all bad. Ask the hunters. They'll tell you what he's capable of. Well... I offered to help. Are any of your workers around? They should all be at the excavation site. But that doesn't mean they will be. You'll recognize them. They'll be wearing workers' clothes. Even if they've got no intention of working. Uncontrollable, most of them. That's what the swamp and being ignored does to you. You really have given up, haven't you? Well, you would in my position. It's hopeless. Hopeless. Hopeless isn't a word I use. Maybe I can do something to help. How many excavation sites are there? Three. One east of the temple, and two right in the middle of the swamp. 
Look for the artifact crates. They mean you're in the right place. Right. Too risky.